Hi, Teacher Mindy here. I will be teaching for OutSchool this summer. If you are interested in taking any of my fabulous summer camps, just watch the next series of videos that I will be editing and adding right here for you to watch and see what courses I'll be offering. I hope to see you in class. Sign up and in the description below will be a link to my OutSchool um, classroom that you can go in and sign up for the classes. And don't forget, if it's your first time taking a class without school, there will also be a link where you can get your first class up to $20 for free. So I hope to see you in class this summer. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi, Teacher Mindy here with OutSchool. Do you love all things pink? Like pink headbands, pink jewelry, pink nail polish even, and pink clothing? If you love all things pink, I am sure you're gonna love this very pink summer camp where we will have eight lessons together. We'll be reading a Pinkalicious book. We'll be having a pink coloring sheet. We'll be having a fun time at our tea party. We will make a very pink yummy snack each lesson and you'll be able to bring your pink show and tell. So join me in this great Mm, tea party pink summer camp. I can't wait to see you. Bye. Hello, out school parents and learners. Teacher Mindy here. Thanks for looking into my out school fluency camp this summer. In this class, you are going to be learning to read like you talk. Each week, we're gonna be focusing on a different skill, reading like you talk, your volume, expression, accuracy, smoothness, phrasing, and pacing. You will get to read from your very own books. You will bring a book of your choice to class. Of course, it has to be out school appropriate, so no violence or any kind of controversial issues are allowed to be read from your book. And you will be reading aloud in class and we will be talking about ways that you can improve your read aloud. And you can provide all sorts of extra practice. Have you heard about this summer reading slump? <gasps> You do not want a summer reading slump, so you need to keep reading this summer so that you can stay right on grade level or even advance to a higher grade level by the time school year starts next year. Reading fluency is highly correlated to reading success because if you can read fluently, it frees up so much room and your brain to focus on comprehension of reading instead of focusing on reading every single little word. So join me this summer to improve your reading fluency and to prevent that horrid reading summer slump. <gasps> Thanks for watching. See you soon in class. Bye. Hi, Teacher Mindy here. Is your favorite part of this school day show and tell? I love to hear all about your show and tell items, whether it's a new toy or your favorite toy. Bring it along to summer camp and show and tell us all about it. One of my favorite toys is Potato Head. It is such a fun toy because it has so many interesting parts that can be put together to make a new potato face. In this eight class show and tell summer camp, you're gonna be learning to be a good listener, ask questions and give positive feedback, speak at a correct volume and rate, 
Use descriptive words to describe your show and tell. Avoid ums. Voice changes create a more interesting show and tell. Eye contact and hand gestures are also a great thing to do during show and tell. Posture and don't forget lots of practice. I can't wait to see you at show and tell where we can practice public speaking skills. Hope to see you soon. Bye. Hello, princesses. This is teacher Mindy here, and I would like to invite you to my royal tea party. Bring your favorite doll or a stuffed animal and come to my tea party where we will learn tea party manners and drink a nice cup of tea together. Bring your favorite snack. I will be bringing my favorite scones. And at the end of the tea party, I'll even include a recipe so you can make scones at your own home. The tea party manners will also be a printout for you to have at home so you can practice having tea parties with your family and friends for fun. During the tea party, we will be making two different crafts. We'll be making this crown and you'll have a template on your class page to print out for the crown. If you don't have access to a printer, you can always draw a crown on a piece of paper. But what you can also do is print this out, trace it onto fun foam like I did, and that just makes it a little bit sturdier. This part of the crown is for the front, and these two bands are just to make this little band around the back. So you can print it, trace it onto fun foam, or print it directly onto cardstock, either one. If you don't have access to a printer, just draw it freehand. It's totally fine. Here's some cardstock I would recommend. The next thing you're gonna need to do is print or draw two stars. We'll be making this fun wand together. And with this wand, all I used for the base is a recycled paper towel roll. And I took some wrapping paper and I applied my very fast drying sticky glue all over it. Put my paper towel roll in, rolled it up and glued it together. If you don't have any glue handy, not a big deal. You can use a stapler to staple it quickly together. Then for the stars, you're gonna decorate it with gems or markers or whatever you have, stickers, whatever you wanna to use to decorate your star and your crown. And that gets cut out of cardstock or fun foam also. And then we're gonna be stapling it onto our wand base, which is the paper towel holder. So on your supply list, if you wanna do some coloring, you need to have some markers. If you want to glue or tape, that would be great too. Or you could even just use a stapler to make the whole thing, your choice of what you have at home. You might need some scissors if you need to still cut things out. If you already have it cut out ahead of time, then you won't need any scissors. If you don't have an empty paper towel roll, not a problem. You can easily make a base for your wand by just taking a piece of paper and rolling it up diagonally like this, putting a dot of glue here, and this can be your wand base. And then you can adhere your stars onto that. Super quick and easy. So while you're making your craft, 
I'm going to be reading to you Sophia the First, The Perfect Tea Party. You're going to learn all about how Sophia plans her very first tea party in this class. You will also have a visit at the end from a very special princess and her friend. So I hope you can attend and see you soon at this wonderful enchanted royal princess party. Bye, have a great day. Hi, teacher Mindy here. In Ready Reader 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, it is a complete reading curriculum to get your readers off to a great start with their beginning reading lessons. First, we start off reading a little book that I've uploaded to class that we practiced a little lesson before. So this is called a reread. We've practiced it already. Then we work on the Michael Haggerty phonemic awareness, where I ask them to blend, segment, and practice rhyming words. This is all done auditorily. Then they get a little break and have a fun time doing some show and tell. We do making words where we practice phonics and we're working on word families next. Then I do a little read aloud and we look for those word family words inside the read aloud book. We practice sight words and we read through the different sight word cards several times. We read a little sentence about the sight word and towards the end, we even practice writing the sight words. So they get multiple practice times with the sight words. The next thing we do is we read new books. So I always upload a couple of books to the classroom and they get to practice reading the new book and they will reread it in the next class. There's some books that are uploaded and there's some little books that I purchase and we read together. I always put them on my document camera so we can look at it and read it together. And then finally, we have a little journal writing entry where I ask them a question I share my screen and I can write the sentence for them if they need it on the right, the whiteboard and then they write it down. So that's it. That's our complete reading program for Ready Reader 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It takes a full school year to complete all of the Ready Readers. I hope your little reader is ready to join us in the fun classes that we have together. Thanks. Bye.